we did a lot of things differently than we have been doing them uh, up until this point. We tried to do AI backgrounds instead of the usual 3D backgrounds that we uh, have been using for almost every um, Visage workshop on it up until now. The process that we went through is also a lot different because usually we spent months to create the uh, backgrounds, but now we can create backgrounds in 20 minutes. Because essentially what we have is a 2D image that we are pushing depth into instead of the usual full 3D built scene that we uh, usually have. I think actually the thing that I liked the most at this workshop was prompting uh, and then see your prompt uh, immediately on stage. The whole AI of it all was for me quite difficult to work with. It was very educational but I think I'm still not entirely sold on the AI-ness um, just because it felt like we had very little precision. It felt like we were sort of making compromises all the time, like we were doing black magic with our hands tied behind our backs, never really quite knowing what we would get out of it. To be honest, the, the AI generated images and the 3D extrusion did not meet any expectation other than it requires a lot more work. So no, we're not there yet, at least in our tests. There was too little going on in the images and it was to the definition of the images and AI are, are very bad compared to what I thought. So working with film people, because usually I work more with the technical elements, um, I'm realizing more and more kind of like the flexibility that they are asking for, but because despite them not being able to change a lot of these things in real life, as soon as it becomes digital, the expectations and the um, requirements that you need to kind of like create a functioning background to make it feel realistic uh, are just so much higher. So that is one of the big things kind of how can we um, create a better uh, workflow where we are able to hit that naturalistic coloring and lighting so that I can alleviate a lot of their work and we can also get a better result. I definitely think that AI has a future in filmmaking. Of course, I am concerned about AI taking my job, but I think in terms of keeping production costs down, uh, it makes sense. Uh, also, there's a lot of uh, uh, functions in filmmaking that takes a lot of uh, labor, which AI can take over. I learned something new on Visage. Um, playing without an actor in front of me, actually playing to myself. Um, it was a, a, a challenge, but um, something I can put in my uh, bag of experiences. Well, we started with just a rough idea and then tried to, to make some prompt and actually ping-ponged a little with the, with the AI of what we're getting uh, back. Can we use it if, uh, whoa, we didn't expect this, but could it work? Could it be fun? Uh, and then try to, to fine-tune it a bit. Okay, we need something that's not just a backdrop, we need some elements in the front and something we can play with, something we can recreate in, in, the, in the real part of the scene. So I think it was, um, it's been a lot of fun. And so I think that Wizard has created sort of a framework where you, all the, uh, all the technique is in place and the know-how is in place, but then there's an immense space that allows you, uh, it allows you to be creative and playful and not afraid of trying new things. So I think it's, um, it's really a fantastic experience. So the workshop itself, I was really happy with. I met some wonderful people and it was, I won't, it felt almost touching seeing how the teams worked together, like at the drop of a hat, that even though it wasn't your team doing it, scene, people would just help out with, oh, I'll do the lights, or I'll, get, I'll give you this prop or whatever. So, so meeting lots of new people and, and seeing the technology work up close and, and getting to work with it yourself and all of that I found really rewarding. Um, so I'm, I'm very happy to have been here and I 
felt that I learned quite a bit. Uh, normally when we work, everything has to be done and ready and perfect. So coming here, I think it was a nice, relaxed experience just playing around with things. We could make mistakes and I think that was uh, uh, the way you learn, is to make mistakes. Thank you.